efforts help restore peace to the land. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Night Owl channel and welcome back to the series where we're counting down the top Dynasty Warriors characters as of the latest game. Coming in at number 71, we have the strategist from Wu known as Lu Su. Now before we jump into who Lu Su is and how he's changed over the past few games, let's take a look at the popularity polls to see why Lu Su is down here at 71. In the first popularity poll, Lu Su ranks down at 73rd with 293 votes out of a total of 75,000. And then in the second popularity poll, he ranks up at 57th. And then in my personal rankings, he's down at 64th. So for people who don't know who Lu Su is, he was a, more of a strategist. He was an advisor for the Kingdom of Wu during the Three Kingdoms era of China. He took control of the military after the death of Zhou Yu. And during the Battle of Chibi, Lu Su served as a close advisor to Zhou Yu in a liaison with Liu Bei's forces. You see that throughout the game of him, you know, constantly in communication with Liu Bei and then later on with Guan Yu over the territory of Jing province or just trying to work together and, you know, working towards their common goal and their common enemy of taking down, you know, Cao Cao and the Wei Kingdom. Upon Zhou Yu's death, Lu Su was put in charge of Sun Quan's army and was head advisor until his own death. Now, the games don't actually have any cutscenes for Lu Su's death. He's kind of an off-screen death character, and Lu Su passes away from illness. He doesn't die on the battlefield or anything like that. Before his playable Dynasty Warriors appearance, Lu Su was just a generic uh, and non-playable character NPC in the background, but in Dynasty Warriors 8, he got his playable debut. So he's only been in a few Dynasty Warriors, the 8th and the ninth one, and then of course a couple of the spin-offs and all that, but we're only covering the main titles in this game. Now before we jump into you know how he's changed from the 8th to the ninth game, just a couple fun facts about Lu Su. Lusu is one of the programmer's favorite characters in Dynasty Warriors 8. He believes that Lusu's character is the strongest personification of the development team's effort to be closer to his historical self. So Lusu was one of the main strategists for Wu. It was uh, Zhou Yu at the time, then when he passed away, Lusu, and then when Lusu passed away, Lu Meng took over. But, but Lusu was a very important strategist. He was actually, like I said in the beginning, Lusu was a liaison between his kingdom and the Shu kingdom. He was very serious about keeping that alliance between Wu and Shu because he deemed it to be the most beneficial to Wu's future. You can tell in one of the hypothetical routes when Lu Mong and Lu Shun attack Fan Castle and they break their alliance with Shu. Uh, in the hypothetical route in Dynasty Warriors 8, Lu Su actually survives and he's you know, not pleased that they decided to do this even though you know, Lu Mong and Lu Shun thought the best course of action in order to take Jing Province. So the problem with Jing Province is that Jing Province was right in the middle between the Shu Kingdom and the Wu Kingdom. So at first, you know, uh, the Battle of Chibi happens, Shu and Wu, they work together to take down you know, Wei in the kingdom of Cao Cao. So in the Battle of Chibi, the famous naval battle, you know, Wu and Shu work together to take down you know, Wei with a you know, huge fire attack. They take them down, they win, and then Shu deems that Jing province should be theirs because, they, you know, because of their help in Chibi. Later on down the story, they, they believe that Jing province was given to them by the former owner, uh, Liu Biao, and they don't want to give it up. So Lucy was giving him the benefit of the doubt, trying to convince his other comrades that, hey, maybe they just need a spot to rest. They just need a spot to live and have a place of their own for a little bit until they actually get a place of their own. So when Liu Bei finally gets a place of his own, uh, the Wu Kingdom and, you know, Lu Su and everybody was hoping that they would give Jing Province back because they have achieved, or, you know, the Shu Kingdom has achieved what they wanted. And they were thinking that, okay, we loaned you Jing province, now you know it's time to give it back to us. That actually didn't end up happening because like I said, uh, you know, Shu believes that, that first of all it was theirs because they helped out and it was given to them by the former owner. But Lu Su compromised in both games talking to Guan Yu. Uh, I think in Dynasty Warriors 8 he tells Guan Yu you can have it but you can only use it against Cao Cao, don't use it against us. And then in Dynasty Warriors 9 they agreed to a split. Guan Yu. You have obtained the territory of Bashu in Yi province, the land of your own that you have long desired. Jing province was just a foothold for you, no? As such, I don't imagine Liu Bei has a need for it any longer. So we want you to return it to Wu as promised. The territory of Jing province was given to my brother by the departed Master Liu Biao. Furthermore, we fought bravely at Shibi, one could argue that Jing province is an appropriate reward for our efforts there. I don't see why we should return it to Wu. Forgive me, but I find your logic to be sorely lacking. 
you used Oo to overcome your own desperate situation, all while deceiving us as you seized lands to the west. Master Sun Xuan and the rest of us overlooked such actions and even offered you help in the name of the greater good. Guan Yu, what do you say we divide Jing province into western and eastern halves, with Wu controlling the east and Shu having domain over the west? I believe my brother and Master Zhuge Liang would be satisfied with such a compromise. Excellent. Let us proceed along those lines then. However, Guan Yu, I ask that you be careful about one thing. If Liu Bei... No, you continue to refuse our requests for the return of Jing, it will eventually lead to war between us. I pray it does not come to that. That was the tension that was caused by the Shu and Wu Kingdom. That's why Wu broke their alliance, because they were already mad that you know, Guan Yu and the Shu Kingdom took that province right in the middle of them. And that's probably what caused um, a lot of the hate and stuff like that. Lu Su actually survived a little longer and he didn't die to illness. Um, it actually is possible that they could have gotten along longer. And they actually could have both opposed Wei. And it wouldn't have been the three kingdoms. It would have been, you know, two kingdoms working together to take down one. But unfortunately, Lu Su passes away. Lu Mang takes it among himself to make an alliance with Cao Cao. Backstab Shu, take down Guan Yu and, you know... That's kind of where, uh, after that point, that's where it seems like, you know, Shu and Wu seem to fall, in my opinion. But uh, anyway, let's go ahead and talk about uh, Lu Su's changes. He doesn't have a lot of changes. I mean, it's the 8th and ninth game. Yeah, we'll start out with his weapon style. He doesn't change weapon style. He has the Rake for Dynasty Warriors 8 and 9. Uh, it's a pretty good weapon. I can't complain about it too much. The regular Musao in Dynasty Warriors 9 is not that great. He also has it in Dynasty Warriors 8, but you have a, you know, you have a choice to do multiple Musao's. You have the first one, the second one, and then the aerial one. I like the aerial one a lot better than the ground ones. It's just, it doesn't pack a lot of punch. I mean, it doesn't do a lot of damage. Uh, it's not very flashy, but I mean, it's all right. It's not bad. But yeah, he keeps the rake in Dynasty Warriors 9. His moveset is relatively the same. Musao's are obviously the same. And uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, I mean, he doesn't really change from Dynasty Warriors 8 to Dynasty Warriors 9 in terms of of his weapon. Now let's talk about his voice acting, which did change from Dynasty Warriors 8 to Dynasty Warriors 9, but it's not that noticeable. It's not really that bad. Uh, I think his voice acting in Dynasty Warriors 8 and 9 are fine, even though they're two different people. Fun fact about his voice actors though, the Dynasty Warriors 8 guy, if you can believe it, actually voice acted Zhang Fei as well as Lu Su. So he did Zhang Fei and Lu Su in Dynasty Warriors 8, and he also did Zhang Fei earlier from Dynasty Warriors 6 to Dynasty Warriors 8. And I just thought that was kind of interesting because Zhang Fei sounds completely different from Lu Su. And uh, he did a really good job differentiating the two. And then for his Dynasty Warriors 9 actor, uh, that guy also did another character in the series for Dynasty Warriors 9. He also did Guo Huai, who I've already done on the channel. And uh, again, Lu Su and Guo Huai do not sound at all the same. So another good job there for the voice acting. So but yeah, just a couple little fun facts about Lu Su's voice. Now let's go over his appearance. Lu Su's appearance does not change from Dynasty Warriors 8 to Dynasty Warriors 9 relatively at all. I mean, it's it's pretty much the same look. Uh, Dynasty Warriors 8, he kind of has like a, I mean, they're both robes, but he's got more of like a, you know, noble, royal look to him. And then Dynasty Warriors 9, it's still pretty much the same look. It's just a little different outfit. You know, it's not that different from uh, the two games so not too much to talk about with his appearance and then last but not least let's talk about his relationships with other officers so Lusu was a main strategist of the Wu Kingdom I mean he was a big time you know help to them he came to the Wu Kingdom after well, Dynasty Warriors 9 they have him under Yuan Shu and then he joins them after the Battle of Yuan Shu and that's what you know he was talking with Sun Jian and all that but I would say Lusu has the closest relationship with Zhou Yu and Lu Meng and uh, those are the other two strategists on the Wu Kingdom at the time. Uh, Zhou Yu is, you know, basically the guy above him, and Lu Meng was the strategist below him, and Lu Su was, you know, right in the middle. So when Zhou Yu dies, like I said, Lu Su became the main strategist. When Lu Su died, Lu Meng became the main strategist for the Wu Kingdom. And uh, he really has a strong relationship with those two, maybe because they're all strategists. I mean, they're, you know, constantly talking about strategy, what to do next, you know, all that stuff. And, uh, of course, he has a relationship with Sun Quan as well, but that's because, you know, the ruler is going to have relationship with all his officers, and especially the strategists, because he's going to be constantly looking to them for guidance on what to do and stuff like that. But he had a very close relationship with Zhou Yu even before he was even in the Wu Kingdom. I guess they met each other outside of the Wu Kingdom. 
Zhou Yu realized his potential. He, bef he befriended him before he went back to the Wu Kingdom. And then eventually, like I said, in Dynasty Warriors 9. I don't know if that is actually true, if that's how it happened. But Lu Su was underneath Yuan Shu. And then when Yuan Shu was defeated, he leaves, goes to the Wu Kingdom. Because he told, you know, Sun Jian he would eventually do that. I mean, he helped him escape and stuff like that. Because, you know, Yuan Shu was planning to assassinate Sun Jian. So he can get the Imperial Seal and all that. But yeah, he had a very close relationship with Zhou Yu. He was friends with him before. And then when Zhou Yu was looking for people to recruit, he went straight to Lu Su and, and you know, told Sun Quan who he was. He's got talent. He's got this. And he'd be a viable asset to the Wu Kingdom. So he joined in. And then Lu Mong, you know, he's got a close relationship with Lu Su because, you know, it's kind of like the master and pupil kind of relationship. Lu Su is kind of a mentor to Lu Mong. He teaches him, you know, strategies, what to look for. And tries to just keep him on the right path of, you know maintaining the alliance between Wu and Shu, even though Lu Mang does not follow, he takes it you know, among himself. Um, he was very adamant. Lu Su was very adamant about trying to keep that relationship. Because like I said, if Lu Su survived a little longer and was able to, you know, keep that relationship with Shu, history might have been a little bit different because if Wu and Shu were working together for that period of time, I don't think the Wei Kingdom, they were big. Wei Kingdom was huge. They had the entire north side of China, but I don't think that they could have taken both forces at once. And, uh, but because that didn't happen, because Lu Mong and, you know, they decided to attack Fawn Castle, the betrayal, and the Battle of Yi Ling. And that's all information for different characters who play a bigger role in that battle and stuff like that. But that's pretty much all I have for Lu Su here. We went over his weapon style, voice acting, uh, relationships with other officers. Again, I mean, him and Su Quan definitely had that relationship, but be the ruler has relationship with all of his, you know, officers and stuff like that. But, you know, Su Quan has close relationships with other people versus, you know, like Lu Su or, you know, other people that are part of the Wu Kingdom. So that's pretty much going to wrap it up for Lu Su. He's number 71 on our list. We'll be moving on to number 70 here soon, almost out of the 70s. One more character left and then we'll be into the 60s. And we're getting closer and closer to those more popular and just fan favorites. Uh, lots of good characters coming up. So make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss it. If you guys enjoyed the video, definitely appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe. If you guys, you know, use Lu Su, if you guys have any comments about it, let me know down in the comment section. But that's all I have for Lu Su, guys. I appreciate you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.